family therapist, Dr. George James, is here with me to talk about some of those urgent questions. Please welcome to our home, Dr. George James. Here with some tips is licensed marriage and family therapist, George James. Hi, I'm Dr. George James, a licensed marriage and family therapist. Like that's the way life goes. You're talking about the kids, you're talking yeah. about other things. So what do you suggest? So it's cliche, but I see it over and over in my office where clients come in and they're not spending time together. Mm -hmm. They're not having that couple time. And I'm not just saying Real any time, ordinary couple right. time. I mean like invested time with your partner where you get to know them. So One of the things do? I want people to think about is to respond versus to react. Usually well, we, we get so overwhelmed and we turn into a reaction and we end up becoming the child. Yeah. And now we throw this tantrum and we look foolish mm -hmm. versus respond, take so a moment. Some experts suggest helping others can also be an effective way to alleviate anxiety and improve your own well-being. We move away from the constant thought, the worry, the overthinking. And one of the best ways to distract yourself is to help somebody else. So this is true. During January, do you have more appointments, people coming in to see you guys? Uh, well, I will say, after the holidays, my appointment calendar did uh, did fill up. Mm -hmm. You know, people want to wait through the holidays because of their kids or other situations. And they say, you know what, I'm done. I've, I've tried long enough and I can't do this anymore. And that's where January hits. But you're out here saving people because well, you, you know, say it's simple. I don't have a cape and all, but I'm trying. <laughs> so George, are some of these themes of family dynamics, are these things you see in your daily practice? Yeah, I actually see it pretty often. It's a negotiation that has to happen for you to have a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Where's the couple and where's the family? And mm -hmm. to figure that out between you as a relationship and those around you who support you. A lot of How do we make sure that we don't, you know, m we prioritize that? Because I've heard you say before, it's a really important part mm -hmm. of marriage. It is extremely important. And I like to tell the, uh, talk to people or the couples I work with the difference between sexual intimacy and non-sexual intimacy. They both are important. And that means a touch, cuddling on the couch, to being able to find time to be intimate with each other. And now that you have more time, you can try in the morning, the afternoon, some <laughs> other time. You have time to figure it out. And yes, when we're stressed, that's usually the thing that goes down. But you can make the time and be intentional. And maybe for some people that could result in a nine-month blessing later on. Yeah. And, but it's important that you do something to stay connected with each other. Did you other. hear that? Nine-month <laughs> blessing, Jenna. And so, Dr. James, you know, what do you think is some things you'd like to leave with, with all of us watching? Two things I just, you know, really want to highlight is that, uh, one, you know, Dr. King's quote of that uh, injustice anywhere uh, is a threat to justice everywhere, which means that we all have to be uh, involved, uh, regardless of our background, skill, skin color, e experiences. But the biggest thing that I want to leave with everybody is that self-care is important. And especially what I've seen for a lot of uh, black families is the thought that I can't take a day off. I have to be a part of the fight every day. I have to I have to speak up, whether at my job or, or someplace else. But you, you need to take care of yourself and your family. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thank you. it. He's a calming man, isn't he? Yes, yes he is. <laughs> I like him. Thank you.